So we're going to give you a little demo on Coach at Soccer. Uh, this is the initial screen here. The game dashboard is where the coach is going to be spending most of his time during a game. Uh, Manage Teams simply allows you to set up teams and team players. Formations allow you to create custom formations if you want to go beyond what's been supplied with the product and statistics. So let's go into the game dashboard. Uh, we have the current team, the Rockets, selected here, but I'm going to be playing uh, the Hurricanes today, which is an 11-player team. So uh, an initial lineup comes up, and you can select a particular formation, 1-3-3, <clears throat> 4-4-3, so on and so forth. So let's go with a uh, – actually, let's stick with that one. And now uh, you can tell, the, tell Coach it how, which players are out that day. So Devin, Tess, Alex, and Sammy are out. When you click Done, those players move out. And if anybody was on the field, uh, the substitutes will go in at that point. So you can make substitutions in real time just by dragging like this. Let me bring all the players back. And so you can drag from the out position into the, the player position. This is really nice because right before a game, if you want to change your lineup, you just simply make your changes right then and there, and you're good to go. In uh, delayed mode, uh, now you're in a game, and you, let's say you have five or more substitutions. Um, you can then plan your substitutions simply by clicking and dragging. You can go from the opposition to the player on the field. So now I have uh, five players going in. Uh, ball goes out or it's a goal kick. I select commit substitutions. Now Coach it tells me that Serena, Becca, Valerie, Lauren, and Emma are coming out. Devin, Lizzie, Gila, Sarah, and Katie are going in, and these are their positions. I select commit, and everybody rolls into place. The, uh, the timers in Coach It allow you to keep track of the number of times the player has been out. It also tracks the amount of time the player has been out and the amount of time the player is in. These, uh, these numbers, as you can see, are turning into yellow. That's cautioning the coach that a player has been out for a particular amount of time. You can set those times here, turn yellow after a certain amount of minutes. Um, and uh, it'll turn red after a certain amount of time also. Lineups, uh, if you like this particular lineup or you want to make a, uh, uh, you want to save that lineup for the next game, you select Save Lineup As and type in, type in a name, hit Return, and then uh, let's say you're at a different lineup. Now you can select that lineup there and all those players will be substituted in. Uh, at halftime, you can click the switch button and everybody basically switches from one side to the other. Okay, so now uh, the game is going on. Let me switch back to the other position. And uh, let's say Shannon kicks a goal. Now I can put in that statistic and uh, Coach It will record the time that that event happened. If Tessa does a save, Serena does assist on the last goal, so on and so forth. So let's go into the statistics mode. And now there are a number of reports. Let me select the Hurricanes. So I can look at team statistics for the entire team. I can look by player, or I can look and say, give me my top players for all the different statistics. So a goal or, or a shot on goal, shot on goal missed, uh, assist, et cetera, et cetera. One last thing on formations, uh, as I mentioned, if you, you can use the formations that are supplied with Coach It, you can also uh, create your own formations here just by dragging like this. And you can click on a field there, right forward, for example. Click Done, move that into position. Uh, you can turn the grid on or off. Uh, having the grid on makes it very nice because you can create nice even positions. So that is a quick demonstration of Coach It. Thank you very much.